children my name is teacher sriman jello wawelo now i want to welcome all of you to this service today and i know that we are going to be blessed as we listen to this preaching today can we pray if you are at home now we want to pray we want you to sit down you relax so that we may pray now let us pray almighty god we come before you we want to glorify you we want to magnify you because of this wonderful time that you have given to us to listen to your word it is our humble prayer that you are going to bless us as we listen to this word for this is our humble prayer through jesus christ our lord and savior and everybody say amen if you are at home say amen now last sunday the teacher that was teaching us he taught us about servanthood now servanthood is the theme of the month and when he was teaching us about servanthood he told us about a servant and he told us that a servant is a person who performs duties of others and either employed or at a personal attendant now can we go again who is a servant a servant the teacher told us that a servant is a person who performs duties for others either employed or at a personal attendant now that was what we learned about last sunday now today i want us to continue with the same theme of servanthood and today now we are going to look at our topic and the topic today that we are looking at is biblical examples let us repeat it again biblical examples of a servant let us repeat it again biblical examples of a servant now we are going to hear an example of a servant from the book of acts chapter 9 from verses that is 6 to 43 now if you are seated can you tell your brother or sister or your mom that our reading is coming from the book of acts chapter 9 from verses that is 6 to 43 now that is where we are going to learn and look at a servant who was a good example to us now if you look at my drawing here who do you think this is can somebody there tell is or our own brother who is this here somebody is saying that this is mary mother of god no now also another person saying this is mary magdalene no she is not mary magdalene now this person seated here is tabitha in the other name she was called dolcas dolcas is the one that we are going now to look at her as an, an example 
to us as a servant who was a good example to others. Now, here, as we are looking at this picture of Dolokas, the first thing that I want you to understand as a, an example of a, of a servant, Dolokas was a disciple. Dolokas was a disciple. And here, we are saying that Dolokas as an example of who? Of Jesus Christ. Now, who is a disciple? Who is a disciple? I can see somebody there who is saying that a disciple is a person who follows bread. Like the way people who are following Jesus. No. A disciple is a follower. And that's why we are saying she was a follower of Jesus Christ. Why are we saying she is a disciple? We are saying that she is a disciple because she used to help the needed. That is why we are saying she was a disciple. She used to help also the widowers. And that's why we are saying that like the way Jesus was helping other people, that is how also Dolokas was able to help other people. Now, also, there is one thing that I want you also to understand here. Dolokas as a disciple, she was faithful to what she was doing. She was faithful in her action. She was faithful when she was doing everything that she was doing. If she was helping, she was faithful to helping. If she was faithful to seeing, she was faithful to seeing. And that's why we, after this picture you are seeing, she is making a shot. After making a shot, now, here, we see Dolokas giving the little boy her shirt. That, is, that means that she was faithful to her work. That's why she is giving the little boy what she had made for him. Now, also, there is one thing that I also want you to understand. My the second point that we are going to look at is now, Dolokas was good. Say it again. Dolokas was good and helping the poor. That's why we are saying now today why she is good. Why is she good? She is good because... She, she was generous. She was a generous person. She was making loaves and other clothes for the widowers. Now, at this picture that you are looking at, this below one here, you can see the clothes that she was making for the widows. Now, this clothes that she was making was a significance of that. She was good and helping the needy. So as a servant, or as a good servant of God, you must be good. Tell your brother or sister, you must be good. As a good servant who helps the others. No. To that point, I want you to understand that today, God is encouraging us all 
to become his good disciples. Now, are you prepared to become like Dolokas, who was a good disciple of Christ? Are you prepared now to serve others? So as a good person, you must be able to serve all people, no matter where they come from. Are you together? You must be able to become a good servant or a good disciple of Christ when we serve all other people. Now, a good disciple also, if you become a good disciple of God, you should be able to make other people copy your good actions. Remember that Dolokas made other people become happy. Do you make other people happy by your good works? Dolokas made people happy. That's why we see that after she died, people went to Peter and cried for Peter to come and pray for her. And after Peter prayed for her, she was able to rise again. So it is good, as a good disciple of Christ, you become a person who is a disciple fully committed to the work that God has given you today. Now, as a good disciple also, you must be faithful. If today a person comes to you and tells you, can you help me with one pen? And that person had seen that you had two pens. You should not ignore that person. You must be faithful and tell him or her, I'm going to help you with one pen or with one pencil. So faithfulness is good for us all. Now, as we are still learning about Dolokas, Dolokas in the other way as a servant, she teaches us that we should also be humble to help other people. Now, as young children, how can you help others? Maybe you can tell your parent that we can visit the orphans, we can visit the people who are angry and feed them. You can also do great things by being a good example to other people. Now, it is very important to know that also helping our parent is a good thing. And helping our parents, how do you help your parents as young ones? If maybe your parent tells you that, can you wipe the chair? Can you wipe the table? You should not say, I, mom, is it me only you see that can wipe the chairs. Why don't you tell come out to wipe? No, you are supposed now to do it with a good heart. You help your parent and by helping your parent, you become a good servant. Now, today, as we are being taught of becoming good, as we are taught of becoming a good servant, 
God expects us that as we continue becoming like Dolokas, we are to grow in good stature, being loved by God and by other people. Remember that Dolokas was loved by all people. Now, ask your brother or sister, are you loved by your neighbors because of your action? Are you loved because of the way you do your things? Let the actions that you do show that you are a good servant. Now, it is my prayer that God will help us, all of us, to become disciples of Christ. Now I remind your brother and sister that today we have learned that we must become disciples of Christ. Let me hear you say, today we have learned of how to become good disciples of Christ. And the second point is we must help other people in our ways. So it is good that we become people who are going to be acceptable before God. And now as we conclude, there is a memory verse that I want us to say, all of us. And the memory verse comes from the book of Mark, chapter 10, verses 45. Let us repeat it again. Our memory verse comes from the book of Mark, chapter 10, Verses 45, which says that for even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and give his life as a lump sum for many. Let us repeat it again, and you do like the way I'm doing. Our memory verse comes from the book of Mark, chapter 10, verses 45. And it says, For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and give his life as a lump sum for many. Now, this week, I hope and I know that we are going to understand that memory verse so that it may be able to help us to serve, so that it may be of help to make us grow in good stature. So may God bless you so much. May God continue keeping you as you enjoy this week, as you do your work this week. May God bless you. So may we pray so that we may be blessed. Thank you, everlasting God, because of this time that you've given to us so that we may learn and listen your word. It is our humble prayer that as young children, you are going to make us become good servants who are going to be your disciples, to be good to others, to help others, Lord. And when you do that, Redeemer God, on glory and honor 
shall be back unto you. Father, we come before you saying that you are highly lifted up. For this is our humble prayer through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And everybody say, Amen. Now I want you to greet your brother and say, Bye bye, bye bye. Can you say bye bye to me? Bye bye. God bless you. God bless you so much. Amen.